that's it. Is it water? Hmm. Australia. Best movie ever! More than four million of us choose to spend the night in front of the telly. <laughs> Such a pompous yes. show. But have you ever wondered what other people are watching? Oh my god! Oh no! Bull shit! Find out what people thought about what was on in the last seven days. Have I ever told you look good in that? Look better out of it, please. <laughs> look good in it. This week, Australia won the Cricket World Cup on home soil. Do New Zealanders ever win anything? We also watched an Oscar winner from the 90s. I hate boxes of chocolates. You get so excited to take one and it's always fucking coconut. And witness the biggest game show win in the nation's history. One million dollars riding on this answer. And so if he wins today, does he get a million dollars? thing at night where he goes <laughs> and then he goes like this <laughs> putty over here putty over there the roof the roof the roof is on fire on tuesday night gold coast cops was on channel 10. the rap the rapid action and patrols is a crack team of officers tasked with smashing crime on the glitter strip i love this show Faye, come and watch it quick Gold Coast Cops. Gold, Gold Coast, Coast Cops. Cops. Gold Coast Cops. How many bogans are going to be on this show? We're about to in Queensland. Oh, uh, the Gold Coast. Uh. In tonight's episode, Sergeant Greg St. Clair, known as Chockey, responds to an emergency call. On his way, however, he suddenly finds his path blocked by a black Suzuki Swift. The sounding of the horn is really the last resort. It's still not here yet. Move the fuck over. Someone could be dying. Get out of the way. And the best bit is once they go past you, then you try and quickly yeah, get exactly, behind them. Yeah, exactly, then you get to go. And then you get to go. Yeah. But it doesn't seem to matter what Chucky does, nothing is getting through. You just run into him. Bam, wham. What the hell are you doing? Just putting on fake tan. Selfie Instagram with the, cops. the cop behind her being like, hashtag emergency hashtag Thursday. Duck face emergency. With Chucky struggling to make progress, news comes through that his assistance is no longer required. Right. Chucky now wants to find out exactly why the black car didn't get out of the way. Oh, here we are, ditzy blonde. Oh, I'm in so much trouble. Emergency. Are you fully aware what to do when an emergency vehicle approaches no, your vehicle? No, 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 I'd take it off if I was her parents. God, you're harsh. Shoot her in the foot and she'll never forget. They should be able to taser him. Zap the bitch. I'm going to shoot with an infringement of today. $265. It's a fair whack, though. 260 bucks too. Much. I think of much better things to spend on than give it to the police. And buy, like, 40 kilos of apples. Well, you could get three avocados. You didn't hear the sirens. I started to hear them. She seems a little bit slow. She did say yous. I saw yous behind me. I reckon she'd go find another hundred bucks for using the word yous. <laughs> I actually think it's a good word because... You think it's a good word? Yeah, yous. Is that listed in a dictionary? I say yous. She saw yous. Yous. Pronoun. Colloquial. In non-standard use. <laughs> plural form of you. Quote, unquote. Well, it's just up there on the left, so... Chucky's next call is to execute a search warrant on a suspected drug dealer's house. We've got a search warrant here. Uh, I think they all should be going to Jenny Craig, not worrying about going in there. <laughs> Look at them all. 
The best way to get information from people is to talk to people. Oh, really? Smart copper, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. What are you doing? Oh, selling pot. And what, what sort of money do you get for that? A little bit of coin, not much at all, really. Charles Ford. He had a fucking job. He has got a job. He's selling pot. <laughs> and before long, this guy's given up the location of his stash. Oh, it's just in the top drawer with your cutlery. Why would you tell the cop that? You'd be laughing, wouldn't you? See, this is what happens to your brains. It appears to be a bucket of marijuana butts. Holy dooly. I don't think that's a few bits that he's selling to his friends, honey. It's just weed. It's not like he's got, like, guns and... Tasers and Tasers shit. and shit. Drugs aren't the only thing the search turns up. We found a taser in the premises there, which is of concern. Oh, like wow. It. That's hectic. I want one. But maybe he needs it if he's got this much cash lying around the house. It's approximately $40,000 in cash. Can I have that little bit of coin? That's a lot of child support. While our suspected drug dealing dad has six charges to answer. And I would laugh. I'd love to sit here and watch the police come and arrest you. <laughs> it's been a pleasure being married to you for 15 <laughs> years. It really has. who told me but a very long 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 time ago mm. someone said to me if you want to kill your husband right if you just put one little drop of dishwashing liquid in their coffee all the time what it will eventually kill him and they won't trace it how he died bullshit on saturday long-running abc favorite gardening australia was on no, i like gardening i think it's pretty peaceful and i like Don't gardening too yeah i'm not one for gardening Neither. You know why? Why? Because you get dirty. Oh, I was actually a big gardener growing up, oh. believe it or not. My dad, you, well, forced me to be a gardener. I had to give up every second of Sunday. And when you're a kid, that's annoying. That's mean. My dad was a bit of a dick. Hello and welcome to Gardening Australia. Costas has been Holy growing shit. his beard. He must have put some good fertiliser on the beard. <laughs> You're rubbing shit into his face. What a productive little strip of the community garden it is here. I know it's a show about gardening. I can't get over his facial hair. Here's the rainwater tank. He looks like a scarecrow. He's a troll under a bridge. Animal from Sesame Street. He looks like a Greek priest. It's so inspiring to see. There's so much food and milk and shits in there. Look how wide that is. Mmm, wit, girth. I reckon he's just finding shit in there. He's like, oh, I lost my keys. Oh, there they are. I just can't see this bloke's mouth. How would he eat? Making pasta very bad, like this. Can't make any pasta. I know what I have to do. But... Also presenting is Manure Man, Tino Carnavale. And I'm cooking up a storm, showing you how to make the perfect recipe to keep your soil fertile. And our first ingredient are animal manures. It's amazing how all animal shit makes bloody things grow. Imagine the person who found that. I reckon it's someone who got like a real piss, went out crapped in the garden, yep. came out a few days later, bloody corn growing everywhere. Animal manures. This is cow. Moo poo I found, it's a great feed. Moo poo. Moo poo. Look how enthusiastic he is about his poo. Now the next one is chicken manure. Chicken I manure. really love how all gardeners <laughs> pick up <laughs> stuff like this <laughs> and they're like, this is cow shit. And they just do this in their hands. Imagine doing that with a... Now yeah, this is a nice big human poo. <laughs> the perfect recipe to keep your soil fertile. It's like baking a cake. And this is like my kitchen rules in the in the wheelbarrow. Is Pete the Paleo going to come and eat this and tell us what he reckons? They're putting manure in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last year, with a fair bit of help from family and friends, I built a pizza oven out of recycled materials. Time for pizza. Oh, good one. Well done. Very well done. Good job, everybody. Herbs are a great place to start. First, because they're easy. She's got my favourite list. Oh, she does! She goes on Ayesha Buttrose's list. One of the essential herbs in Italian cuisine. This is certainly the one to choose. This is I love lists. Lists. 
I can't do that. That's mean that the word has an S in it. I know. Isn't it? And of course, it has a smell of summer savoury grind. Now get your tongue out of your teeth, yeah. darling. I think that having our own pizza oven will be a great way to help get the kids into cooking. My and grandmother had one of those. See, the the Greeks taught them how to make these ovens. I'm going to show you how to make a really tasty pizza. The Greeks taught everyone how to make everything. Not pizza. Make, yes, and pizza. Bullshit. We had tiropites, which were a form of pizza. Are we, you sure they didn't come from We the pizza? were putting spinach and cheese. Yeah, but they copied us. Start with four cups of plain flour. Don't Two cook. This is a gardening show, bitch. <laughs> Two teaspoons of caster sugar. Cooking is so ubiquitous on Australian television that even a gardening show has to have a cooking bit. That's the law in Australia, is you either have to have Bondi or cooking on your show. For all the details, check out our website. Oh! And here's some... What the heck? That was... ABC's best graphics. Oh, what you do if... This was the only show I would let you watch for the night. How would you feel? Then I wouldn't watch TV. I'd go to bed at six o'clock. My lips are all kissed out, so I'm very tired. Oh. <laughs> Too much pass ration last night, my friend. <laughs> Do you want to see a photo? Yes. Of you pashing, did you go like this? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, totally. Wait, wait, go again. God, I hope I didn't. Oh! Guy Sebastian. Early 2000s. Love it. Last week, the world's most popular boy band made news headlines. News, please. <laughs> Now, it's hardly the breakup of the Beatles, but fans of the boy band superstars One Direction are in mourning today with the news that Zayn Malik has quit. The oh! Oh, that's sad. I love that. Josh! Oh, oh, that's right, he's gone. Oh, no. <laughs> he decided he was going in a different direction. Do they have to change their name to Two Directions? <laughs> I don't think I can go to work tomorrow. No, this is, this is tragic. Was he a singer or he's one of the songs or...? He's one of them, I don't know. He's the one that went home, sort of, to break up with his girlfriend, or was that another one? I don't know. You seem to know a lot more about them than I do. The 22-year-old says he wants to be normal. And really? Darling, you can't just decide to be normal after you've done that. Fair enough. It is fair enough. And he's a billionaire. Well, you've already been in one direction. You're not living a normal life and you're not going to. Be broke and go to work placement for free. Yeah, that's what we're doing. That's normal life. It's the news that's brought young girls and grown men to tears. So they literally wake up and Zane is leaving? Oh, oh my oh. God. Spare me. She woke up and she saw those two things in her nose. For a 15-year-old, it's mm. the end of their world. Mm. I get that, but for me, I couldn't care less. Come back. Look at this. It won't look right without him. Look at these people. Oh, that was scary. Don't leave. Oh, darling, please. He met diehard fans here. Yes. A photo on social media showing him with his arm around the waist of a girl had forced him to defend his relationship with fiance Perry Edwards. They've been He's engaged for two years and he hasn't done anything for the plans for the wedding. Hashtag, so, he's 22. That was tragic, girl. that breakup. Forced him to defend his Poor girl. With fiance Perry Edwards, who's now being attacked by some fans as the Yoko Ono of One Direction. Oh my God. <laughs> Terrible to compare One Direction to the Beatles. The Beatles went apeshit when John Lennon met, met Yoko Ono. Well, we know where that got him. Got him shot. While former bandmate Harry Styles couldn't hide his emotions as the band took to the stage in Jakarta without Zayn Malik. Imagine if Harry left. Shit would hit the fan. When Harry leaves, it would be Harry by himself. Yeah. If Harry went, it would be different. He's the main linchpin. He, he could have left. They added that One Direction will continue, recording a fifth album and finishing the current world tour. Jesse knows it all. <laughs> Jesse knows, know more two songs. Songs. Jesse knows more songs than I do. Do they yeah. get 20% off because Zane's gone? Don't think so. I could do. I could take his place. I look good in skinny jeans. Oh. Now fans will be wondering if, as when Robbie Williams left Take That and Jerry Halliwell left the Spice Girls, the end of One Direction could be nigh. You know what it reminds me of, Kate? A bit Wiggles. Remember Greg from Wiggles, Greg Page, in the yellow? Yeah. He left 
and they brought that new bloke in. Yeah. And then he, then Greg sort of came went back. in depression and stuff, and he came back. Matt, I don't think you can compare the Wiggles to One Direction. You know what? I reckon you can. Wiggles are massive. Anyway, I wish they end well. Oh, God. Maybe you could take on him as a, a protege or he could be his manager or something. That bloody bra of yours, it just wants to pop out. I told you, I'm a C-cup. I know you don't believe me, but I it's true. I, know, I can't believe it. I reckon your boobers are bigger than that. Last week, Channel 7's game show, Million Dollar Minute, had the nation hooked. Andrew Scarbeck has one thing on his mind. Winning one million dollars. This man has tried for the million dollars like five times already. If he wins, it's the first time since yeah. Australia TV history. And you know who will be really angry about Eddie. it? Eddie. Let's see if tonight is a life changer for... Andrew. Well, it's sad when a middle-aged gay man's got no money, isn't it? He's got a wife and kid. No, he doesn't. But before he can compete for the million dollars, he has to beat two new contenders. Welcome, Rachel. Happy to be here. You reckon they've got two nuffies to play against him so that he wins? Tonight. Welcome, Pete. Hi, Simon. It's great to be here. Good to have yep. you on the show as well. Looks like Carl Barron. He really does look like Carl Barron. You. Good luck, everyone. Play well. What name is given to the South Australian version of the WOMAD festival? Huh? What? We don't have a clue. I can never answer any of the questions. WOMADELAIDE. Andrew? WOMADELAIDE. WOMADELAIDE is correct. Yes. Of course. Originating from the Greek word for leaf is the name of which flaky pastry? Philo. Philo. Philo? Peter. Philo. Correct. Not Philo, Malaka. Philo. A 1970s hit for Gilbert O'Sullivan was Ooh Wacka Doo Wacka What? Day. Day. Peter. Do. <laughs> Day. <laughs> it was. Ba pow. Going the wrong way, Pete. What's the second most common gas in Earth's atmosphere? Peter. Hydrogen. Oxygen. Which team? This guy is seriously. Day. He's a nuffy. Yeah, uh, zero. Peter's pretty screwed. Yeah. At this point. He's a stooge, this bloke. <laughs> everybody. In the end, the two contenders were unable to compete with the champ. Good game. Pete, sadly no money, but I hope you enjoyed the experience. Absolutely, it was a great time. Thank you. Piss off, Peter. Meaning Andrew was through to the second round, where he faced five more questions to decide his million-dollar fate. Go, Andrew. You're doing well, boy. I hope he gets it. Is he going to win it? And after getting the first four questions correct... That's a big tick right there. OK, so now he's actually quite close to getting... It all came down to the last question. Question number three goes like this. The Burke and Wills expedition left Melbourne in which year? I just oh, said 54, do you think? 54. I've got to find 56. No. That was the Olympics. No. 1860. 1860 was the of those three was the one I felt more comfortable with. I think it's 1860, the statue on on uh, Swanson Street. I think he might win. Australian television history right here. It rides on question number three. God, come on. Fuck, they dragged this part out. There is $1 million riding on this answer. Oh, come on. Get it out. Show it. $1 million. $1 million. Seven figures. Oh, we know a million Don't dollars. Me. So if he wins today, does he get a million dollars? Yeah. But what we want is the answer. So do I. Are you correct? Just hurry up, fucking. Oh, Jesus Christ. I could get pregnant faster than you show the answer. Yes, it is! He's won his million. No, it's good. Oh, Heck. my heart's oh, palpitating. My oh, my Unbelievable. It's an extraordinary night for this program. <laughs> He's just standing there. Oh, 
Oh, celebrate. You know, if that was me and I just won a million, oh, I'd God. be jumping down like I'm my last You would have broken yeah. that oh, stage. Oh, 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 Congratulations. We did a pose. I'm just going up on Is that his wife? That's his wife. He's not even kissing her. Thank God she's got some money. Go and get your Talk hair done. Talk about awkward cuddling and kissing. <laughs> hey, I've got to hug you too. Come here, you. Yeah. Both of you. Let's... Oh, oh that was really Very awkward, awkward hug. Team hug. <laughs> Very good. Awkward oh, wow. city. <laughs> so awkward. So, so come on, Rach and Pete, if you're out there, come it's on. It's not a big fanfare, is it? Channel 7's champagne. probably broke now. They're giving away a million bucks. They don't even have girls to bring out the flowers. <laughs> Thanks, Pete. Come round here, Rachel, as well. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. This is the most awkward experience I've ever seen. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah. It's amazing. Andrew, well done. Thank you. I don't know what to say. Uh, that was a really anticlimactic There's finish. like six bits of confetti on there. It's been a heck of a ride. It has been a marathon. Yeah. It's over. And I he... want a million dollars. It's yeah. Over. And he has broken the tape. We'll see you next time. I went from being really happy for him to now you're just a, you're a jerk. Did you put Bailey's in the coffee? Yeah. Oh, Is you're funny. Right? Mm. It's nice, huh? Yeah. On Sunday, Hell's Kitchen was on the Lifestyle Channel. Count how many times he tweeted. I am. F this and F that. I'd get the biggest pot and I'd whack him out of the back of the head. So you swear at me once more, you devious ding dong. Ding dong. Get him. Get him. Get him going. <laughs> What the hell's this? Gladiator school. Oh, Hell's Kitchen! This is the cooking show done right. Stuff actually happens. Yeah, shit happens. Fast paced. Absolute asshole head chef. Look at him sitting up there like jack shit. Oh, can you tell I don't like him? <laughs> Everyone having real weird names. Bro. It's not a name, that's an activity. Or it's a type of fish egg. Oh, Latasha. Ah, <laughs> oh, how you doing, Latasha? Do you know, if I ever had a kid again, I think I'd call it Shaniqua. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, I want to go, Shaniqua! <laughs> <laughs> Hell's, Hell's Kitchen. Kitchen. Let's go, move it, move it. On we Hell's Kitchen, wherever. two teams compete in a professional kitchen under the guidance of Chef Gordon Ramsay. So that's what happens when you have too much Botox. No, he hasn't been Botox, has he? If he has, he should ask for his money back. Do you think um, Gordon Ramsay's is a bit hot? Hot? Yeah. Would you? Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. I'd rather shit in my hands and clap. <laughs> <laughs> OK, red team, blue team. For today's unique challenge, you'll be cooking Italian food. It's a very eclectic group of people, isn't it? Yeah. They look like they're ready for karate, <laughs> not cooking. <laughs> They all look like ex, like drug addicts. She looks sick, that woman. I think she's got hepatitis. I don't want her cooking my food. It's crack hole. They're professionals, aren't they? Yeah. So he's a grill chef. So what, he works in, like, McDonald's on the grill? Probably. The restaurant opens and the diners start to arrive. All the D-grade actors. I'm a celebrity. Get me a steak. <laughs> yeah. Khalees. Khalees. I wonder if she'll order the milkshakes. She probably wouldn't order them because then the restaurant would be filled up with boys. Here we go. Blue team, let's go. Yes, Four cover table, 22. Two risotto, two cavatelli. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, taste everything. How come he's not yelling enough? Ten minutes into the show and he hasn't said fuck. Is he on some sort of medication? He hasn't swore once. Come on, make him cry. Seven minutes and nothing's come out of this fucking kitchen. Yes, yes sir. sir. There we go, one. Steve is on. Hey, fuck face. Hey, yes, chef. Fucking come here. How long are you going to keep it all back? Get it together. Yes, chef. This is, this is shit off. Fuck me. Give it to him, Dordo. When Gordon grills you, he bloody grills you. He spoke to me the way he speaks to them. I would punch him mm. straight in the nose. It's a wonder one of the chefs doesn't just smack him out. It's now up to Frank on meat to pick up the pace on entrees. Hey, good chicken to stay, OK? Yeah, I'm ready with it, baby. Hi. You know what I don't like watching cooking shows? They're touching my food. Get your dirty, filthy fingers off it. Where's all their gloves? Why aren't they wearing gloves? They can't when they're cooking. Aren't you supposed to wear gloves? No. Nah. Their hands are clean. You know how unclean boys are? Like, they do not wash their hands properly. 
They, they touch their little penis foreskin and then they, they touch your chicken. Like this guy, for instance. Let's face it, he would have just picked his nose and scratched his dick and then served you some chicken. Fucking I'd like to see that. No, no, no way, no, no way, no way, no Fuck way, off, no way. stop. Back in for at least another four minutes. It's fucking blue. Use your brain. Fuck off. Yeah, shut up. Gordon Ramsay, he's such a delightful person, isn't he? He's on, such man. a prick. He's an arrogant pig. No, I quite like it. One dish seems to be leaving the dining room and making its way back to the kitchen. Do you ever send food back? Never. It'll be the same piece cooked again with spit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, have I got news for you? Raw fucking calamari. Ten. What is going on? What in the fuck is going on? Eleven. Now he's getting it. Holly, I think you're getting some capabilities and skill set to be a great chef. Eating and swearing. Leave. God help anyone that runs up cold veg, cold fucking pans. God help them. And the so this is what they should do with my kitchen rules. Throw them all in like this and then just scream at them. So if I was a head chef, could I swear at people like that all the time? Yeah. Shit, I'm changing careers. All of you, get out. Just leave me alone. Get out. Get fucking out. Get out. Isn't it how nice that would be to be in that restaurant hearing that? I wouldn't stay. I'd go over and say, why don't you just shut up? Having been kicked out of the kitchen, the red team's heads are on the chopping block. Ashley, give me your jacket, please. Yeah, kick out the crack whore. How dare she send out raw calamari? Chef Ramsay obviously just thought that I wasn't good enough. You're not. More happened in that than an entire season of MKR. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Gordon didn't really swear that much, though. Yeah. He just looked really angry and yelled at people. He's Although he is in his face is like this. Get the F out of my restaurant. That's uncooked. This is blue. <laughs> Even his smile looked. You bloody nailed that steak. <laughs> Do you want me to be Danny Minogue singing Australia's <coughs> National Anthem? Uh -huh. Australia's song that us rejoice For we are young and free <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yes! Cricket, 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 cricket in the wicket Wicket, 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 wicket Oh, I friggin' love cricket. Game on. On Sunday, the eyes of the nation were on the MCG. The crowd roars. To watch Australia in the Cricket World Cup final. Even Australians who don't care about cricket still care about this game. Are they playing New Zealand? They could be playing Antarctica for all I know, but... Uh, no, they, yeah. they don't have a cricket team. Well, you never know. So they could probably get a, a penguin team together. And Brendan McCullum, who's uh, done such a sterling job for New Zealand. Oh, listen, listen to the commentator. Oh, you'll love this. He's a New Zealander. Here we go. This is going to be excellent. We've got to get early wickets, though. We've got to stop McCallum. It's the go. And you're going to say, who's McCallum? Yeah, who's McCallum? He's is captain he... New Zealand. He's Stark. Here we go. All right through him. Oh, oh shit. Did he catch it? No, no, he missed. But he caught it? No, yeah, but he didn't hit it. Oh. Bowl him! Got yes! Him! Yes! Bowl him! Couldn't get battle. The beauty. We get. Hang on, it's just started, hasn't yes! it? Yes! Yes! <laughs> You're out. Don't know how, but you are. Woohoo! <laughs> and McCullum goes for a duck. Oh. Worst possible start for New Zealand. And they're one for one. One for one. Oh, you wow. Know what that means? One all, I would say. After McCullum's wicket, things went downhill fast for New Zealand. Oh, nice catch. Nice catch of your ball. Following. Oh, that could be out. They're going down like flies. Group hug. Touch my bum. I can't understand the thing where they jump on each other. Or like they've been to some kind of dance class or something. What a professional performance. 
from Australia. Yeah, 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 Let's hug because we're men. And that will be the end of the innings. With New Zealand all out, Australia was set a target of 184 runs to become world champions. This is in the bag. This is in the bag. We're a big, big chance. Do it for the country. Oh, that's lovely. Yellow and gold. With Australia two wickets down, Captain Michael Clarke comes to the crease in his last one-day match. Yes, now take a look at this. Well done, pup. Final game. Last one. Well done, your pup. For the last time in pup. Was in this is nickname. Pup. Pup. Clarkey. That's the guy that was married to Michael Bingle. Oh, that's a shot. The, the, oh, Rima. Oh, 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 Michael Clarke. Oh, oh, Showing a bit of emotion there, as you'd expect. Whoever dates Lara Bingle has to be a little bit of a nutbag. Despite Clark getting out, the Aussies cruise to a convincing victory. Who to win? Smith heaves it away. That'll do it. Yeah. It's the winning run. Australia beat New Zealand. Excellent win. High five. Australia are champions of the world. Oh God! Finished. Each member of that New Zealand side will now. Come forward. Yeah. OK, wait. Let's play a game. Would you? Would you? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 No. Yes. Yes. Oh, I do him. No oh, problem. yeah, that one. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment. That champions of 2015, ladies and gentlemen, the Australians. It's a shame that there's a lot of good-looking New Zealanders because it would be hard to have sex with a New Zealand because it couldn't be very sexy. That's it, that's it. Oh, yeah, to the left a bit. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I don't think yes. you'd think That's the it. spot. <laughs> well, I would like to learn another language. I mean, I already know sign language. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Much-loved movie Forrest Gump was the winner of six Academy Awards back in 1994. I absolutely love Forrest Gump. It's your favourite? One of. You've seen this movie how many times? Seventy. Seventy times. And there's his box of chocolates. Yep. Life was like a box, the box of chocolates. Of chocolates. Do you know this, Millie? You never, you never know, know what you're, what you're going, going to get. get. Does Millie know this? That would be the number one saying in movie history. I hate boxes of chocolates. You get so excited, you take one, and it's always fucking coconut. <laughs> it pisses me off. I do remember the first time I heard the sweetest voice in the wide world. Yeah, no. I had never seen anything so beautiful in my life. That's what, how you looked when you seen me, wasn't it? I did, dear. Yeah. God, people are so mean, aren't they? Yeah. Run, Boris, run! Are you going to do the whole movie? Probably. Please don't. Wherever you go, you always yeah. hear, run, run for us, run! <laughs> that day on, if I was going somewhere, I was running. <laughs> I was running. God, that voice is seriously bloody irritating, isn't it? God. I love, love, love Tom Hanks. Oh, fuck, I hate Tom Hanks. What is wrong with that man? I love Tom Cruise. You know his wife's Greek. Forrest grows up, runs his way out of Vietnam and buys himself a shrimp boat. Who waves like that? <laughs> Who waves like that? Look. Look. <laughs> Turn the boat around! <laughs> that actor's name is so familiar. Our education minister, definitely Christopher Pine. Is, what's his face from NCIS? He's the CSI guy. Thought I'd try out my sea legs. <laughs> but you ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Danny. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well. That's my boat. That's my boat. <laughs> That's my boat. <laughs> my boat. <laughs> After making his fortune shrimping with Lieutenant Dan, Forrest returns home to his first love, Jenny. Will you marry me? You don't want to marry me. He's a millionaire. I even I'd marry him, and he annoys me. I'd marry for money. Me, oh, I'm not getting married. 
you're going to be a lonely old spinster with cats. Yeah. Sitting there stroking your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Forrest. That's why I asked everyone likes him, because he doesn't do any wrong to anybody. Uh, just a nice guy. I'm just a nice guy. One day, the girl of your <laughs> dreams will turn you down, but then in the same night, come in and spoon you. Jenny. Forrest, I do love you. Isn't it amazing? You can be as dumb as shit, mm -hmm. but everyone still knows what love and sex is. Do you reckon that's his first time? Yep. Go, Forrest, go! It's natural. Don't you remember when you started getting those feelings when you were younger? You still get them. And you get it. <laughs> <laughs> and then she's gone. Just as quick as she came. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't intend that. Right. <laughs> After Jenny leaves, Forrest starts running and doesn't stop for three years. I've been to this home. exact spot. Have you? Yeah, the tour guide pulled up and said, this is where Forrest Gump looked straight back and told everybody. I'm pretty tired. I think I'll go home. I think I'll go home. I didn't ruin it. I said it just after. I waited. How on earth could he win an Academy Award for this movie? Pretty dumb, isn't it? Pretty stupid. Forrest then returns home to a surprise. This is my very good friend, Mr Gump. Can you say hi to him? Hello, Mr Gump. Hello. Oh, my God, this is a child from the Sixth Sense or whatever. I see dead people. His name's Forrest. Like me? I named him after his daddy. What's his name? He got a daddy. Forrest! <laughs> is, is he smart? He's very smart. Oh, my God. No, I'm not. This is not sad. That is sad. No, I don't reckon that's sad. That is sad. You right there, D, you getting a bit emotional? Oh, give me a hate tissue. <laughs> I'm doing all coming in. God, these bloody movies. You know what got snubbed for Best Picture in the same year as this? What? Pulp Fiction and uh, Shawshank Redemption. Oh. Oh, what? what? Hey, Forrest. I want to tell you I love you. I love you too, Daddy. I actually think it probably is one of the best movies of all time. Yeah. I think that's it. Mm. Thank God. Very good okay. movie. Give it a clap. <laughs> Couldn't remember the kid's name, so God knows. Oh, but I remember Jenny. <coughs> Jenny. And Baba. Baba. And Lieutenant Bain. <laughs> Lieutenant Dane. Da <laughs> How that could have beat a movie like Pulp Fiction is seriously beyond me. I know. John Travolta should have got Best Actress. Best Actress? I thought he was a male. <laughs> best Actor. <laughs> well, he looks a bit queenie, Tom. <laughs> Find me. <laughs> I love my footy show. I love I footy. I like footy. I, I like just footy go pies, go pies, go pies, go pies, go pies. Shut up. <laughs> go pies, go pies, go pies, pies, pies. <gasps> you are a freaking flake. <laughs> On Thursday, we tuned in to the 22nd season of the AFL Footy Show. Love Footy Show. Footy's back. Do you know what I'm proud of? That I've never been to a football game, ever. I can't get over how bloody passionate people are about it. Good old Collingwood forever. I stop. We know how to play the game. Can we change the channel? No life, no life, no life. Get a life, you people. Superstar panel. And no one bigger in the game than this man from the Collingwood Football Club, Dane Swan. Look how good looking these boys are. Where do you see good looking cricketers? There is good looking cricketers, you just don't see them. No, with it's their, like you've got to with sign a form. Gear and mask and all no, that. you have to be good looking to play AFL football. Yeah, they're all wearing handkerchiefs in their top pocket, very civilised and. Big. that's come Central. from wardrobe. That hasn't come from their cup cupboard at home. That's come from whatever Channel 9's wardrobe. But he doesn't even match. He's got one tie on and a different kind of handkerchief. So you think he's picked up the wrong jacket from the wardrobe rat. You need to write into them about the matching handkerchiefs because they're not matching. Joining the players on the panel is controversial co-host Sam Newman. Let's see what Sam's up to. <sighs> Unless he's in a coffin, I don't care. Is he like the Shane Warne of AFL? Pretty much, but 
times a thousand. I, I just think he's good entertainment, Sam. Newman blacked up his face to impersonate Indigenous footballer Nicky Winmar. Being punched in the face by a, a plumber. Why? Because he's Why fixing, up, fixing up his girlfriend or something like that. And he's still walking around. Yeah, he's still walking around. I saw Sam Newman at AFL Park when I was younger, yeah. when I was hot and skinny, uh, when I was standing in front of the box. He goes, I'm going to wrap my legs around you. I'll try like, doing I was that 27. now. He'll probably get a cramp. <laughs> One of the most popular segments is Sam's Mailbag, where he reads out some of the weird and wonderful letters that the show receives. As you get more elderly, have you ever had the need for one of these during a round of golf? People are waiting to tee off. There's no restroom out here. Has this happened to you? Uh, I've got the perfect gift. Introducing the Euro Club, the discreet sanitary solution for your urgent relief. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh no, my God, you've no. got to be... <laughs> it looks like an ordinary golf club, but contains a reservoir built into the grip. No. So it's a bloody golf club. Like a shape like a urinal. <laughs> that has got to be the stupidest thing yeah. ever. Lucky he doesn't look like an idiot pissing into the bushes. Yeah. <laughs> he just looks like an idiot shoving his penis into a golf club. This is the Euro Club. Right. Yes, this is it. Now yeah, I'm going to have a crack. That appears to have a longer sort it, this, of grip This on is it, here. You put, the, you, you put your dick in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is this show finishing soon? No, it's not. It's still going. <sighs> you pretend you're looking for the ball and you get the old whizzer out, but you're allowed to smuggle it Don't out behind you, no. I hope he's not going to bloody wing in front of the whole television audience, is he? What happens if they get stuck in there? Oh, my God, he's not. He's actually going to wing? Yep. If he does, I'm turning this off, cos he just wants to get the old thing out. Pretend you're looking for the ball and you just go, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever tried to pee like a guy to see what it, it would be like? No. Have you? Yeah, when I was younger. But like, you stood up? Yeah. And did you, did you get it in the bar? No, it went everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's next item is a throwback to an infamous incident at a North Melbourne Collingwood game in 1978. And we've flown her down. This no is the way. woman that sat on the elephant. And there she is. <laughs> There's an when, elephant. What? An elephant? Why the bloody hell do they have an elephant in the footy? This is like nature show. It's like David Attenborough. Yeah. So, what was it supposed to do, the elephant? It was supposed to kick footballs. And it, and it took <laughs> off. It just started to bolt, did it? It actually ran towards the Collingwood cheese ball. <laughs> yeah, probably saying, help me, help me, this stupid woman's riding me. That's why it came to the Collingwood cheer squad, to help it. It ran towards the Chop Collingwood cheer squad. That's oh. it. Yeah. It'd be hard to tell the difference. <laughs> I'm a Collingwood supporter. Do I look like an elephant? Do I look like an elephant? Go uh -huh. fuck yourself, idiot. <laughs> We've got something that you can present. This, this is a bag of the elephant shit. Oh, this is, this is... <laughs> big bag of elephant shit. Oh, They've flown her down here to give her a big bag of shit. What's this got to do with football? I don't know. We've seen a guy peeing into a golf club and a clip of an elephant running on a footy field repeated eight times. That's what we've seen on the footy show. Who won the footy this week? Dunno. This show is stupid. This sh it shouldn't be allowed on TV. I think we need to another channel that's just for sport. They already have, sweaty. This is the perfect life. Phone. Couch, rug, TV, and me. RuPaul's Drag Race lit up our screens on Wednesday. Was this about cars? No, it's cars. No, drag queens. Oh. <laughs> the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race receives a one year supply of Anastasia. Anastasia! Anastasia! Woo, I'm a drag queen! Woo, woo, woo! Hey, Fly Girls. America's next drag superstar needs to work the runway and show me some sass. RuPaul. Who is RuPaul? The world's most famous drag queen. Do you know what I like about RuPaul? He's nearly as pretty as me in a dress. Fourteen contestants battle it out to be America's next drag queen superstar. Today's challenge, you need to give face, face, face while the pit crew blows you. Oh, RuPaul is very bald compared to drag queen RuPaul. Yeah. Who wants to get blown first? Pick me. Me! What? Can I be in it? Men. Who did not say? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't want to be in it. Be mean. Pit crew, let it rip. Oh, you're gay. Oh, 
hope she wins yes. so she can spend the prize money and get a new tea. Tastes like Miss Piggy. <laughs> I love the supreme absurdity of everything about this. The two winners of today's mini challenge are Ginger Minch. Ginger Minch! Congratulations, ladies. <laughs> That's my new dragon name. Mine's Rusty Poinciana. I need a dollar. Michelle Mystique. I feel you down there. Penny Fanny. Fanny? Oh, my god. Do you know what a fanny is? <laughs> now, for this week's maxi challenge, get ready for a lip sync a palooza. I no. love a good drag show. Can I quit my job and do no. drag? No. Why? I could make millions. The drag queens are rehearsing for their lip syncing competition, but some are struggling. So Miss Fame, her execution is so bad, her hips don't move like a woman's hips should move. Well, he has got a penis. There's no sex going on around that bum, boy. No curves, nothing. <laughs> Do you want guys to have curvy no, asses for you? But, but if, they're, if they're going to be a queen... With rehearsals done, RuPaul transforms into his drag queen alter ego to join the judging panel. Oh, how wonderful. He is so amazing. She's gorgeous. My God, look at those hips, man. Bitch. On this week's show, RuPaul is joined by a very special guest judge. The one and only Olivia Newton-John. You know, Yay, look at... Oh, she's not looking good. No. Oh. That's so rude. How would Olivia Newton-John be associated with this of the show? She hasn't sort of done much in the last 40 years. The time has come. For you to lip sync for your life. Do we deserve a second chance? Hard to talk. Very hard to get up as well. Oh, I just got pain in my vagina then. I just try to pound my vagina into that stage so hard that the building shakes. Wait, does he even have a vagina? No, I don't think so. So do they have vaginas or penises? No, they have penises, Charles. Oh, wow. A bit slower this time. Last time I hurt my balls. Got the boobies coming out! <laughs> the boobs hanging on her hair. Right. <laughs> Ladies, <laughs> I've Tuck myself in. <laughs> Ladies, I've made my decision. Who do you think wins? Split scar. Jump splits is bloody impressive. Jump splits has to stay. Shantae, you stay. Thank you so much. Oh, no, I wouldn't have done her. Wouldn't have what? Oh, no, I, I, let me rephrase that. I wouldn't have picked her. Sasha Bell. Sashay away. Well, I'll, I'll dress up better than him, wouldn't I? Keith, you'll be an ugly girl. I'm sorry. Why? I might have to surprise you. One, one night you come home. Oh, don't. Hello. <laughs> it's Keithina. How are you? <laughs> oh, you're an idiot. You never know.